So it's time for me to be totally honest with you. After our last video, I'm left a little bit worried about something I featured within it. I feel like I may have opened a pocket-sized can of worms. Yes, this little guy is doing more than burning a hole in my pocket. It's giving me that nagging feeling that I'm now gonna have to do a whole video just about it. But the problem I've got is with all this lockdown business, there always seems to be something better to play with. So distractions aside, it's time for me to do the video, well, that I've wanted to do for a really long time, the video I've always threatened to do. It's time for me to review the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera in 2020. So my quest for this weird little video is to argue the case that this weird little camera is possibly the best valued camera that you can get on the market right now. And that beyond still being relevant in 2020, this can produce footage that stands up to its four and 6K brothers. Now I'm obviously well aware of the specs of the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and the fact that it doesn't hold up to 2020's high standards. In fact, this doesn't even appear on the radar of comparison for its younger four and 6K siblings, but I worry about those numbers. As we progress in the four, six and 8K world, I worry that as filmmakers, we're kind of focusing on those numbers far too much and not considering what the camera actually does. For me, this is a tool for capturing an image with a certain aesthetic. The Pocket 4 and 6K, as an example, are incredible cameras. They produce an impeccable, high-resolution, clean image with all the blank slate rawness you could ever want for post-production. But it always felt to me like they're lacking something, something that we had in the analog age, and that's character. And for me, character is everything that's great about this camera. The Super 16 sensor does something very unique and specific. It produces an almost film-like aesthetic. It's dreamy and grainy and feels almost analog in its reproduction of an image. I haven't been blessed with the ability to capture a huge amount of footage with this camera recently, mainly because we're all stuck inside at the moment, but what I did capture truly made me fall back in love with this camera. Now, all this footage you see is shot, obviously, at 1080, but upscaled into a 4K timeline, I honestly believe that it still stands up to its bigger 4K and 6K siblings. Of course, the newer 6K version of this camera has a lot more technically to offer, but I feel after using that camera that it is lacking the character of the original version. Now, of course, I'm not here to try and make a comparison video of the 6K and the original that doesn't even seem to make any sense. All I'm trying to do is point out that this original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera can stand up in this 4K world and still offer something unique. Of course, the shortcomings of this camera are well known and can't be avoided. If you want to use this for anything serious beyond a few short clips on a YouTube review, well then you're gonna need to fully rig this camera out. You will need a cage, you'll need some kind of battery life extender, something externally to record onto. You'll probably want a focal adapter or speed boost. So there are lots of expensive items to buy, but when you consider that you can actually pick these bodies up now for around two to $300, None of that seems that bad. Now, of course, this isn't a camera system that I would recommend investing into right now if it's your sole camera. It's probably not even a camera system that I would recommend relying upon for any professional work. But as a collector's piece for filmmaking enthusiasts, this camera does something that no other camera on the market currently does, and that is produce video that affects you on an irrational level. So for some more information on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, the original one, there's of course some links below. And whilst you're down there, why not consider subscribing to our channel? That's been my grab and go review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.